Okay, episode two, Union and Turnabout. That was no accident. Nice car. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Steve McQueen? What the hell? That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny? Huh? I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. Okay. I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. Okay, we're going to get to see them. <laughs> June 16, 3.34 p.m., Wright & Company Law Offices, so it's a f we're going backwards now. Who's this guy? What depressing rain! Do you understand how depressed that makes me, do you? Uh, I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at the weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is what that girl said. I stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I don't, didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Uh, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. I'll practice at Grace Surgical Clinic. Fourteen inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting. Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was the nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those fourteen patients. And yet, now listen good, and yet... That nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. That's right, about a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. Fourteen victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused the crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed all 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take... Oh, I think you need to take a deep breath, doctor. Focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Huh? Maya Faye. You know this girl, correct? Maya? Why wouldn't you know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... 
Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. Oh, what? Wait, I'm not. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh. Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Faye family, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be your first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? And so, that's how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. June 19th, 125 p.m., Korean Village. So this is Korean Village, Maya's hometown. Huh? Why, hello there. <laughs> hmm, what a nice little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Huh? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! What the hell? Ah, Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you're so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I didn't know you were this close, I'd have visited more. <laughs> no, you're not allowed. I already decided you now. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard to be strong by myself. Oh, well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. Georges are written on a beat up old sign. Looks like this giant rock is called the Karain Boulder. There's a really complex explanation written here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in or something like that. An old bus stop says Karain Village on the signpost. The buses seem incredibly inconvenient since they only come three times a day. The biggest, most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This is Faye Manor, the, the place Maya calls home. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. <clears throat> Looks like you're finally becoming a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Ha ha ha, behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see. 14 people, oops, 14 people died because of malpractice on Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Uh, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. Haha, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't think a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep, Korean Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. That's probably true since the fake ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only a limit of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Huh. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Faye. She's my cousin. 
Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means, is she also, uh... Yup, she's a medium too. Curly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. Hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Curly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Karain Village. Aw, uh, Curly's mother is my aunt. Duh, come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I gotta get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grow up some juicy burgers. All right, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, unless she's still the same perky Maya.